Hello and welcome to Flow Thoughts. In this tutorial, we're gonna take a look on how to make this flame match inside of After Effects. To, to make the flame, we can do that frame by frame using the pen tool, but today we're gonna use a free plugin called AE Juice. This plugin you can download for free. It includes free and paid editable assets like huts, transitions, shape elements, liquid elements, and more. And that's what we're gonna use to make the flame. If you go inside this liquid elements pack, you will find a bunch of liquid animations as you can see here. But we are looking for a flame. So you go all the way down here and you will see fire loops. Click on it and here you can find like 60 type of fire presets. And we are gonna use this one. Double click on it and it will appear on your project. Put it on top of your match and scale it down to fit what we are looking for. Now you're gonna ask me that using plugins it will look similar to other people's work. I know, that's true. The thing is you have to use these assets in a smart way. Don't just put them there and call it done. Add your touch to it. And to do that, we're gonna duplicate that twice, put one on the front and one on the back. And to make this more advanced, we're gonna add some textures by adding an effect preset called Inner Shadow. This preset is for free, you can find the link to it in the description. And then we're gonna add an effect called Scatter. This will give us a great texture effect. Just play with the settings and find what you want. I don't see more people use this effect. I think it gives a great stylish effect, but no one uses it for some reason. Now, can you notice this flame looks anyway the original one? No, and that's the good way of using plugins, playing with some effects to give it your touch. Sometimes a clean one is good without texture, but giving your touch is even better. Make sure to download the plugin from ajuice.com for free, first link in the description. You can also download the project file. And yeah, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. See you on the next one. Bye.